Hey guys, welcome back to the reanimation series. In the first part, we got our six support done and just got the script to work. So in this part, we're going to be doing some minor um, optimization and then also getting R15 support and probably improving the velocity over here because this is going to look jittery on other people's screens. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make these variables local because I forgot to in the last episode. And I'm also just going to set a variable to true so I don't have to like type all of this out every time I want to check if it's R6, so let's do R6 equals true. Now I can just do stuff like if R6 then, but we're just going to delete this whole thing because as you can see here we're manually destroying all of the joints, but we wouldn't do that automatically because otherwise we'll just waste lines of code. So, actually, what I'm, I forgot to do this last episode, so I'm just going to do it now. you got to, like, stop all the playing animation tracks, otherwise you'll see, like, the head might be moving and stuff like that, when you don't want it to, so I'm going to just do that now. Wait, no. So, 5v pairs. Uh, character. Nope, don't do that. Character the humanoid <sighs> get playing animation tracks do V stop and yep. So now we've stopped the playing animation tracks. Now we're gonna just improve the uh, yeah, we're gonna rewrite it so that the joints automatically destroy it, just loops through the children. So we'll do for IV. In pairs. Um, actually, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and quickly make another variable which stores the character children and descendants. So, local children plus character get children local descendants equals uh, character get descendants. Then, uh, where was I? Right. So. <coughs> So for IV in pairs, uh, character, I mean descendants, do, and then we're going to check if it's a motor 60, which is basically what we want. So if V is motor 60, I'm also going to check if the name's not neck or waist, because otherwise it's going to break it. Name not equal to neck and we don't mean not equal to waist either because if you destroy the waist then um we're going to work on 15. um so now we've done that um we're just going to add an offset argument to the c frame function because that way if you want to have an offset on r15 then um you can just do it directly from the function so offset so I'm just going to change this. So if offset, then part dot C frame equals the rig part C frame times the offset. So part dot C frame times the offset, and then else we can just do this. So if we don't give it the third argument, all right. So um, it's going to replace that with character. With children, and now we gotta add the offsets for R15 because you can't just align. I mean, you can't just set the C from directly since they're differently positioned on R15 and R15 has what parts. So just call it wield. So local actually, I'll just call it offset. Offsets equal uh, humanoid root part equals what like and um, yeah like that uh, um, and then um right upper arm 
good. So I'm not gonna waste your time like just making offsets and then like editing the values is gonna take ages. So what I've done is I have a pre-made table of offsets you're free to use that in your own reanimate if you want. And then that basically just has all like the C frame values and everything. So let me just get it real quick. Uh yeah. So I'm gonna use this. And now what we're gonna do is where was I? Alright, so we're gonna check if this is R6. I'm gonna check if the character is R6. If it is, then we're gonna do this. Otherwise, we are gonna uh, just do for IV. Yeah, that is exactly what I want to do. And then it should work. Um, let's just have a look through. Oh, I need to remove this. No, I left that there. And then. Uh, I think it should work, so let's just go ahead and try it. Oh, what have I done? All oh, right, um, bit of a silly goose. Let's copy the actual script. Why am I white? I have no idea. And as you can see, it's working. Um, we don't have default animations because, yeah, the script is in. If you clone the animate, it clones the R six animate. But since we're R15, the R15 animate won't work with the R6 rig. So what we're going to do is I have a load string. And we can literally just use that. So if R6, then we can do this code. And if not, we can just load string the anime script I have. So load string uh, game get... Alright, so this is the URL, guys. And now, if we execute, as you can see, it's working. We got the animate. Let's execute a script real quick. Crystal dance. And yeah, as you can see, it is working. The offsets are pretty good as well. But the one thing we need to do now is... So when other people see us on their screen, we may be jittering a bit. Uh, due to the velocity setting I have here. It's not um, dynamic, so we're going to make it dynamic. Because... Alright. So I'm just going to go ahead and open another Roblox um, instance and then I'll show you what it looks like on other people's screens. So give me a sec. Alright, so this is what we look like on other people's screens. So as you can see right now we're kind of like jittering a lot. It's not very stable. The, the lag is just my Wi-Fi connection just being bad. As you can see, you jitter when you move, which is not very good, so we're just going to improve that now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back to the C frame function. And I'm just going to comment this out. And we're going to use the look vector of the humanoid root part, which is basically like, like the way the humanoid root part is facing, kind of. So part of velocity equal to vector three dot new would say uh, rig humanoid root part dot c frame dot look vector. And we're just going to use the x value times that by because currently it's like way too low. Your limbs are going to fall. Um, I think thirty could work. I'm just going to do like fifty. And then just do what the y of the humanoid root part's velocity. So part not velocity dot y. And then we're just gonna do the same thing here, but with z. Yeah. So okay, let me just time this. So I think that should be better. Let's have a look. Oh, 
wrong place. Let's just have a look here. Where is my oh oh my god? Where my Wi-Fi connection is way too laggy right now. But as you can see, it's it's much better. Just execute a script with it. My Wi-Fi is hella lagging, but you can see like it jitters like much less. It's much smoother. And I think that should be it for part two. In the next episode, I'm probably gonna do like what permadeath, velocity fling, um, humanoid report fling, just stuff like that. Maybe even like re reanimation, which is like you can reanimate again without having to re execute. I mean, without having to like reset and then execute again. So, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks.